YouTube. We start this lovely day on a day when we have finally found food, found salvation. Right, Shannon? Yes, after forever. Yeah, we, we tried to go to a cute coffee place that supposedly existed, but then it was like, we will have your souls for breakfast. Um, and then we tried to go to Starbucks, but then there was a giant line of cosplayers, so we got scared right away. And so now we're at Publix, where there aren't any cosplayers, so people really think we're quite weird. We're back at the convention, we're actually here, you can see right there in the K-pop box. With yeah. all of the wonderful things we can find. And buy. all of the copyrighted music, good lord. This yeah. is going on your channel. <laughs> okay, this can go on my channel. Yeah, so we're we a bit later, we just came out of a panel with the voice actor of Poor. Yeah. Oh my god, she's so nice. And people keep taking our picture because we're dressed up as Oren. It's kind yeah. of amazing. So we're actually like recognizable today. Yeah, I know. Yesterday I was just in Lolita and Shannon was Arietti. And for some reason people are completely Studio Ghibli deprived. It makes me really sad. We are saying waiting for a Lolita panel. They're over there. They're amazing. Yes, but I would get back. Anyway, um, and then we're going to have McDonald's because we're unhealthy, horrible people. Yay! Yes, and we don't feel like spending $20 on food. I know, the food here is so expensive. They're yeah. like trying to kill you. Well, they're trying to make money. Yeah, yeah. Otherwise, a hotel wouldn't fund it. It's true. Anyway, right now we're um, waiting for a panel to be over. It's Pokemon versus Digimon, which. Yeah. yeah, what do you guys think? Pokemon versus Digimon. I, 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 Pokemon. I watched Digimon, but Pokemon is just so much more iconic. I never saw Digimon. Never yeah. We just saw a car full of a bunch of, uh, Link cosplayers. And, uh, Dana made the best joke ever because she said, it's a car full of Link. They must be chained. I love puns. I'm kind of surprised. I haven't seen anyone vlogging, which is kind of strange. You know, I think that there's been a bunch of nerdy people. You at least see someone vlogging. Um, but I guess not. I mean, I haven't seen anyone awkwardly talking to a camera, so. And I guess that's normally the normal sort of thing. You know, it's, it's ironic. As soon as I start vlogging, like, all of the cool cosplayers behind me disappear. There must be a panel. Yeah, there were just, like, a bunch of really awesome missing? people. Oh, crap. What are we missing? here at the con? I go uh, uh, three days every year oh, since 2009. Wow. Okay. What, what has been your favorite panel? Um, Parlay Productions. Oh, okay. uh, all the Parlay have always been my favorite every year. All right. And finally, say one random thing. Anything that comes to mind. Great. <laughs> and finally. Cheese. All right. We are in line for voice actors on Unplugged panel. Whoa! Oh my god. So many people. Look, I think there's someone down there. We can just watch the entire panel like this. We're both too short to actually see down there, so it's kind of failing. Anyway, who are you most excited to see in Voice Actors Unplugged? Uh, I don't know. Scott McNeil's always really fun, and Dante's really cool, and they're all just wonderful because of voice actors. Exactly. Do you have any specific questions you want to ask anyone? You will have to wait and see. Woohoo! Well, give me a warning if you do. Okay, I won't. Yay! Oh, you suck. <laughs> Yeah, 
I lost my honor. <laughs> we're in a line that's we're not gonna make it. Um, we're in a line to get into the Dante Basco panel. Yes, and it is five along. And I hope to God I get into it because I need to ask him something really important. Hi Tash! Hello, so we wanted to wish you a very belated birthday. Um, we have a little present for you that we got at the con, and we really hope that you enjoy it. I know that you're a big fan of yes. him, so, so I hope you like here it. here you go. Hey Tash, this is Dante Bosco. <laughs> Prince Zuko of the Fire Nation. <laughs> and I, along with a bunch of friends, just want to say happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Tash. Happy birthday to you. Hey guys, so we're go heading back to the hotel after the Dante panel, and we will see you there. Woohoo! Fantastic, because as you're walking back, you see a bunch of the other con people walking. Yeah, and it's just like, and then there's random normal people, and they're just like, what the hell? Yeah, and they have just like the oddest expressions on their face, like, what's that? Yeah. Why? They're like, am I, did I just have amnesia and I'm walking around during Halloween or like, what the hell's happening? I, I feel like the looks we would have gotten while we were he heading to the masquerade yesterday. Oh my god, yeah, because I'll, I think I'll try to put pictures in here, but like we were both in full freaking ball gowns wearing masks and he, like, well, I was kind of in heels, Shannon wasn't, but like walking down this random street just being like, yep, we're going to a masquerade. Yeah, we're, we're completely just, we're just walking. Yeah, and like, it's kind of just a weird place, you know, it's not the most glamorous of sidewalks. <laughs> okay, Shannon, tell us what you told the nice man in the elevator. I told him not to die. Why did you tell him that? He was coughing. So, you, basically, basically what happened is this guy, this nice guy that just was kind of normal with all the other weirdos in the elevator, started coughing and I said, oh, are you okay? You know, like a nice, normal person would. And Shannon looked at him and she was like, don't die. Don't die. She said, don't die. I, I could have told him to die quietly. That's I mean, her argument. I could have been worse. I could have told him to do something that is more bad. Yes, I think that's a valid argument. You chose this.